Hey everyone, this is a video on a tea I just rescued from a pet shop that I found him in. He's a uh, Brachypelma abapolosum. I found this little guy sitting on this shelf with no substrate water or anything uh, in this local pet store of a place I was visiting for, uh, with some family over the holidays. Anyway, uh, after I inquired about him, they told me that some lady had dropped him off about three weeks ago and they didn't know what to do with him. Um, so he hadn't been fed, hadn't been watered, no substrate, nothing. So for 10 bucks, they sold him to me with the cage substrate. And um, I had some cork bark that I bought there. So I threw a little makeshift uh, enclosure for together for him. And as you can see, this is about 10 minutes after I put him in this setup here. And he was just going gangbusters on the water. Obviously dehydrated, needed some some thirst. But for like I said, for about 10 bucks. Um, I got a little set up. The only problem was I had a 16 hour car ride to take him on. So I piled up as much substrate as I could. So in case he decided to climb, if he fell, he wouldn't hurt himself. And lo and behold, here he is alive and well. So rescue mission, whoop whoop. And I got a new tea for my collection. Rachypelma abapolosum. Yeah, yeah. All right, so my new tarantula, my Brachypelma abapolosum, made it home safely. As you can see, he's right here. I'll show you what I transported him home in about a two day, 17 hour car ride. Let's see if I can get this off without him flipping out. Let go. There you go, buddy. And there he is. Not sure if it's male or female. There he is. Hey, buddy. So what I did for the transport, because I didn't have time to ship them or any of that, is I took basically a whole bag of substrate, and I uh, Put a little piece of cork bark in there. I basically fill it all the way up to where if he climbed He'd have maybe an inch fall as you can see So let's see if we can get this guy into a catch cup let's See what happens here Next to kick hairs All right, buddy Turn around. I'm gonna rehouse him into something smaller here. And he doesn't need this deep. Plus I wanna move my OBT into a little deeper. Hey bud, come on, you're doing great. Come on. There you go. Turn around. There you go, bud. Come on. There you go. Nice work. Get in there. Good work, man. There he is. The newest to my collection. A uh, first Brachypelma species. Figure would be a good one. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and rehouse and uh, be right back. All right. So his name is Killer. My son named him Killer. He's anything but a killer. He seems pretty mellow, which is nice. But uh, I was a medium sized critter keeper and a little cork bark with some leaves and flowers that I made or put on there. I didn't make them, but put them on there. Water dish, rock, some substrate, some moss, all that good stuff. So here we go.
Well, here we go. Here's my Brachypelma abobolosum, the Honduran curly hair, I think. Buddy, check him out. Pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can get him out of here. Come here, buddy. Wanna go into your new home? There you go, yep. This guy's been through a lot here these last couple of well, weeks, really, I guess. Certainly the last couple of days in a 16 hour, two day car ride. There you go, buddy. Come on. This guy does not want to move. Come on, buddy. There you go. Come on. There you go. And there you go, buddy. Nice. Let's see if we can't get a close up of them here. Not really zoomed in, is it? Let me try something else here. Bear with me, guys. There you go. There's a good shot of him. Anyway, killer. Hope you like your new home, buddy. Enjoy.